Okay, we're doing the review for section 8.5 and the first question is to given these vectors v equals 2i plus j and w equals i minus 2j we have to find the dot product of the two. And by the way, that can be those can be found on page 631 and the following pages. So uh, it's well laid out in the book. Please review that. So anyhow, the dot product v dot w equals uh, 2i plus j dot i minus 2j, which equals the coefficient on i times the coefficient on i, which is 1 times 2 is 2, and minus 2 times 1 is minus 2, and that is 0. So <clears throat> that's the dot product. B, uh, find the... Uh, Find the angle between the two, and so we know this. If you look at page 633, the cosine of theta, the angle between the two, and by the way, uh, zero is less than or equal to theta, which is less than or equal to pi. So the, equi the cosine between the two equals... Uh, v dot w over the magnitude of v times the magnitude of w. Uh, but the dot product is zero, so ultimately cosine of theta equals zero, so consequently theta must equal 90 degrees because the cosine that's the only angle in the interval 0 to pi for which uh, the cosine of theta equals 0. So now we know the angle. Finally, state whether the vectors so let's do a C right here. C. State whether the vectors are uh, orthogonal, parallel, or neither. Well it turns out they're orthogonal because the angle between them is 90 degrees orthogonal. Okay, done. now we're doing question two, and by the way, this question similar to this can be found on page 636. <clears throat> so, a girl pulls a wagon with a force of 60 pounds. How much work is done in moving the wagon 200 feet if the handle makes an angle of 30 degrees with the ground? Well, we know that the force vector then equals the magnitude times the direction so that's going to be 60 pounds and the direction is cosine of 30 degrees I uh, plus sine of 30 degrees J which equals 60 times root 3 over 2i plus 1 half j. Force factor. Now let's draw the picture and uh, we'll call this point A and this point B and the coordinates of this point are 200 and 0. And the coordinates of this point are 0, 0. So what we've got here in vector form we have a, a position vector and uh, we can describe it in, in this manner A to B, the vector A to B equals 200 I. <clears throat> now to find the work, work equals force times uh, dotted with the uh, 
vector AB. So work equals 60 and uh, times root 3 over 2i plus 1 half j dotted with 200 i and plus 0 j. So that's why you don't see a j showing up here. So when we dot that, 0 times 1 half j is just 0. Ultimately we get 60 times and root 3 over 2 times 200, the 2's divide out and you get times 100 root 3 which equals 60 and uh, 6,000 root 3 and that is going to be foot-pounds because there were 200 feet and 60 pounds. So I'll write down the units foot-pounds, LBS. Foot-pounds, LBS. Good, and we're done.